what's going on boys it's your boy Cooksers back it's been a minute since I posted anything for you guys but I don't like riding in the cold mud I'm not geared up for that I'm more geared up for the snow if anything I got snowmobile gear so I'm more geared up for that but um before I get started I want to wish you guys a happy new year and all the best but uh we're going to be installing heated uh, grips today and thumb on the XMR 700 This is the kit here, integrated heated hand grips and uh, thumb, thumb. So this is, uh, these are the grips. They're nice and clean. You turn on the grips just by a touch of button here. Okay, most of them have this big block over there. Ah, this is, this is a very clean setup. Not much here to install, but we're gonna go on the website right now and, and check out the instructions. Never mind the part number because it's, they're asking for a 10 digit and it's actually really a nine digit. So I went under uh, product and name, uh, integrated heated grips and thumb. Look, look through the part numbers here. There's a part number right here. It's on, on the side of the box. 17150050072. Click on it. And this will tell you everything you need and how to install it. Just scroll down here. It tells you, got to remove this piece, got to remove that plastic, the seat. Cut your grips off. Where to line up your heated grips. How to run the wire. Oh yeah, plus these grips, they're Allen keys, so once you slide them on, you tighten up the Allen key and it holds it there. Uh, that's a nice uh, clean setup. Cut off the thumb rubber. You're gonna be installing um, the element. It's two-sided tape and then you're gonna slide on your new uh, rubber and then cut this off that helps you pull it on. Um, let's you know not the Tighten up your throttle wire too much because you need movement. Give it some slack. It's pretty uh, straightforward instructions, anyways. Like uh, where to run your wire, how to run it along the frame rail here to where your um, fuse panel is under your seat. There's gonna this plug here is gonna be empty. Just plug this in. This is gonna be a plug and play uh, install. This is how you turn on your grips, how to control your heat. Instead of having those, uh, some grips come with this big bulky, uh, uh, you know, hot and cool or up and down switches on the side. This one's all nice, touch touch the, the grip, control your, um, your grips and control your thumb separately. So this is a really clean setup. I live in Canada, we have cold winters here and uh, yeah, I can't wait to try them out. So let's get to it. So guys, I'm gonna start off taking off the hand guards first. So guys, I'm just wondering, what kind of content do you like from me? You know, it seems like every time I go riding with a, a crowd, like a big crowd, I get small view counts. But when I go riding by myself, I get more views riding by myself than I do when I'm riding with a big group of people. So I don't really know what kind of content you guys like, like on my page, but leave in the comments, because that would, that would help me out. You know, the channel has been growing. I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. But yeah, I'm just interested in what kind of content you guys like. Time to cut these grips off. Cause yeah, they're, these are usually glued on. So just do it the easier way. It's like going out hunting and taking the skin off. Okay, this is probably gonna be the hardest part of the install. <laughs> I don't think anything else is gonna be harder than this. Okay, anyways, I'll get back to you. 
So boys, before I get started, you know what? Before I start running lines, what I should have done before cutting the grips off, I should have plugged this unit in and make sure everything's working properly before I tear this whole thing and cut my grips off. Because you never know. If this thing is a defect, <laughs> you never know, right? So undo this and uh, plug it in and see what's going on. Okay, so this is the, the blank right here this one that's the blank okay that's the one uh that they want you to plug it into okay so what do i gotta do here yeah I should have my phone but i already looked at this see that's the plug right there this one yeah so it's a female right gray hand oh yeah you can't mess it up no other way to do it. Okay. So far, so good. Guess that is it. There's no other plug. That's it. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to start this up. Let me open up the garage. Wow. It hasn't been started up in like a month. Okay, so, got this strip. This is the one here. Let's see. Let me get up here so you guys can see what's going on here. Okay, I got them. I came up on the dash. Okay, so as you click them, yeah, these things warm up pretty quick. Yeah, they're they're heating up. see the thumb oh yeah the thumb is hot the thumb is hot yeah, so they're working uh, I forgot to take the protector off look they already melted the, the protector on here so I didn't know that. There's a that piece just to protect. I didn't take it off, but I melted it. So it, yeah, it gets hot. It definitely gets hot. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna shut it off now. It's all working. Now I'll take the rest of the bike apart. T30. There's four. There's four on the outside of here. Sorry about the lighting. Okay. That's it. Oh, okay. So there's two more T30s up there. So, so far, I got 1116K on this machine. I've been loving it since I bought it. I know, I've been going through a lot of places with other XMR 1000s and 850s, everywhere they've been going, I've been going, if not trying to go through the hole quicker than them. This machine's a lot lighter than their, not a lot lighter, but it's lighter. But I think the gear ratio and everything is, it's, this thing is, it moves through a lot of stuff, man. I'm not gonna lie, it moves. Goes through a lot of stuff for, for being a single, single cylinder. It can keep up with the big boys, I can tell you that. One hiding right in this hole here. Okay, that one's long. Okay, 
plug over here. And I'm going to do this plug. Last time I had the machine apart, I ran this wire just to say it so it's done and over with. It goes right from the battery. This is for um, my helmet, for the defroster on the helmet so the helmet doesn't fog up in the winter time. So you just plug this into the helmet and the, the, the visor stays uh, fog free. In the winter time when you get fog or steam in there, it, it builds up with ice and then you need to scrape it off your visor. So this is, helps out big time. You buy a snowmobile helmet, plug it in, defrosts your, your visor, works really well. So guys, since I took this apart, I just wanna show you guys. Um, I've watched many YouTube videos on the Gen 2s on changing this uh, steering bushing. And on the Gen 2s, it looks like a nightmare. On this Gen 3, this is a piece of cake. Piece of cake. Two plastics and a seat, and that's it. On the top right here, two bolts right here. Look how easy. Super easy, super easy. Since I, you know, I took my air filter out, cleaned inside my box, wiped it all down, vacuumed it out, whatever little particles were in there. Just, you know, cleaned up everything while it's, while it's apart. But I just wanted to show you that bushing that is super easy to get to. There's nothing difficult about that one. But uh, yeah, let's uh, start installing the heated grips. So I'm gonna start with the, the thumb. You gotta line this up nice. Yeah, so that's why they say not to uh, tighten up, um, put a zip tie too tight here because it's gonna pull when you get gas. So you gotta basically zip tie, open throttle, and zip tie. Let's see. Oh yeah, fits nice. So it fits nice. This fits very nice. This side on. Like, look how clean that is. Quick button, boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah. I like when, you know, companies build things nice and clean. That's a nice clean setup. Okay, I'm just uh, gonna put my hang guards back on and then, uh, yeah, continue the wiring. So guys, I didn't wanna bore you with uh, tucking all the wires, but this is the end result. It's all tucked nicely. Down and through here. And then the access, the, the extra plug that I came with, just tucks away inside right in there. Tucks where the old one was, just tucks that one back in and plug that one in. I put grease on everything put it all back in. And then this box, this box right here, I found a nice spot for it. Look, right up inside the frame rail, I wanna show you guys. Tucks away inside there. And put the zip ties on it, and it's tucked up on top of the frame rail, underneath the harness, and zip tie it, and then that's it. But guys, I would say that this is a very easy install. Anyone can do this, yeah, definitely anyone can do this. You know, it's pretty straightforward. Follow the instructions and super easy. I'm gonna put the rest of the plastics on and- uh... So guys, finally finished the install. Super easy. $380 Canadian, keep your hands warm. I think it's well worth it. And it's super clean. I just love how clean the install is. That's, uh, I'm all about that kind of stuff. But um, anyways, guys, appreciate all the support you've been giving me. Um, you know, and then I know I haven't posted much lately, but I'm waiting for the snow to come. To be honest with you, I, I I can't wait to rip this in the snow. I'm all ready for the snow. I got my snow gear. I got my my uh, snowmobile helmet, heated grips. I can go out and play for hours now. So, uh, yeah. Until next time.
Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Your boy Cookser's out.